means, I presume, Mildred Hubble, that I am it. It's no use looking like that at Ethel. She was quite right to come and fetch me. The Great Hall contains some of our school's most precious treasures. It is not a playground. No, Miss Cacker. Now, instead of playing outside, you will stay in here and help Mr. Blossom prepare the room for tomorrow's cat presentation. Yes, Miss Cacker. You too as well, since you're feeling so public-spirited. How kind of you, Ethel. Ah, Frank, what have we here? Are these a little friend we've been expecting? Yes, Miss Cackle. I'll take them, shall I? Hello, you must be Charlie. Hello. Can we meet them now? But let us place. We're only trying to keep Mildred out of worse trouble. You've got something to say, Uncle Hallow. Say it to my face. Now then, now then, calm down, girls. You don't want to give young Charlie here the wrong impression. My nephew, he's up for the weekend. I've been telling him what well-behaved young witches you are. He hasn't. He said that Yeah, all right, all right. He's been pestering me with daft questions all day. Ask them instead while I go back for some floor polish. You're not real witches. Who says? Do some magic, then. Turn me into a superhero with incredible powers. Magic is not to be used for trivial or selfish purposes. You can't. We, we can. can. Wear your broomsticks, then. In the broom shed. Sure. And wear your cats. We don't have them yet. We get them tomorrow. Each of us. A kid of our own. One that suits our personality. So we know what yours will be like. Totally useless. You have to come from a witch family to be a real witch. That's my great-great-grandmother, Hortensia Hallow. And that's going to Aunt Ethel, whom I was named after. And over there... Can the... boys be witches? No. Why not? Don't be so ridiculous. You're the one that's ridiculous. And your nose points up in the air, just like hers. Now I'm a witch. Give me that back. Come on. Come and get it. Magic it. Magic it back. Holy macaroni! One, two, three, four. A boy, a boy rampaging about the school. Five, six. Achoo! I'm sure I've counted that one twice. Headmistress. Yes, I know, Mr. Blossom's nephew. I completely forgot. It should have been Frank's weekend off, you see. But there are so many jobs to do. I'll have words with him. Now, could you help me count these kittens? I have a feeling there aren't enough. Believe me, Miss Cackle, there are plenty. I think I'm becoming allergic to them. Achoo! Oh, are all these moggies really necessary? Strictly speaking, Miss Drill, the cats have no purpose whatsoever. Strictly speaking, a witch could fly in a helicopter, but it would hardly inspire confidence. A broomstick and a cat. Tradition. Well, Pentangles Academy have owls, don't they? We had hogs. My school? No trouble at all. On broomsticks? Oh, they love flying. They just curl up tight and then you pop them in your pocket. Of course, spikes prickle a little bit. Puss, 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 puss. Hedgehogs! You had hedgehogs? What did you think I was talking about? Mmm. Not bad. Now, one, two... There's no need to count them, Miss Cackle. You're quite right. We are indeed one short. Seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. You tired yet? No, neither am I. Must be really late. I'm never going to get to sleep. I'm too excited about getting my new kitten. That's what I call her. Midnight. Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? I was thinking of Sooty for mine. But she takes one look at me and leaps out of the window. Don't be silly. You've away with animals. Don't worry so much. It's the presentation. I'm sure I'll do something dreadful. Like step on its tail. Miss Cackle hands it to you. There's nothing to go wrong. But something always does. I fall off my broomstick. I'm scared of the dark. Maybe Ethel's right. Maybe I'll never be a real witch. Don't listen to that stuck-up sneak, Millie. As long as you believe in yourself, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Rather late to be up, isn't it, girls? Of course, if we don't want to be included in the presentation tomorrow, we're certainly going the right way about it. Yes, Miss Harpoon. We've been...
talking about this um, uh, cat presentation, headmistress, and I think, well, we, th well, some of us think. Miss Bat and I think it's very unfair that Mildred isn't getting a kitten. She isn't ready. She was up at midnight last night, jumping up and down on her bed. Well, that's more than I can get her to do in PE. Singling her out is only going to make matters worse. I was singled out at school, you know. Perhaps a cat might calm her down. Difficult children do respond well to being given responsibility. Well, in any case, Miss Cackle, there are no more kittens. Well, what about Mrs Tapioca's cat, Lightning? Hasn't she just had kittens? can't give her one of those. Why not? It would be a kind of compromise. Where's Mildred's class now? In the library. Who's looking after them? I am. Oh, don't stores and tree frogs. They'll be dancing on the tables. <laughs> When she arrives, it's impossible to work with all this racket going on. Don't be such a wet blanket, Ethel. Aren't you excited about getting your kitten? Oh, Fenella, it's beautiful. Shh, keep it down. First year shouldn't even be looking at this. Neither should we, Grizzy. Haven't seen you since your first day, Mildred. How are you getting on? All right. Isn't that bad, huh? I wish I was a proper witch. I wish I could turn people into frogs. In self-defence, in extreme circumstances. Well, of course. Here, page 53. It's a bit like the one for the snails in our class book. And here's one for pigs. That's easy. And ducks. Just imagine casting it on the teachers. H being cackle, waddling and quacking. And fighting for breadcrumbs. <laughs> what about turning them back? Page 55. Simple reversing spell will fix most things. Yeah, Everybody, come together and form a line. Second years as well. I can't find my hat and cloak, oh, Liz. Never mind about that now, Drusilla. It's the cat presentation, and I want to warm up your voices for the school song. Oh, but Liz. Never mind, find a spare one. Honestly, you girls, you'd lose your heads if they weren't screwed on now. Yeah. But we'll never fly alone. It's time for the cat presentation. First year, step forward. <laughs> Ethel Hallow. Priscilla Paddock. Ruby Cherry Tree. Bryony Beasonsworth. Dadu Wali. Gloria Newt, Maud Moonshine, and finally, Mildred Hubble. <laughs> he ran out of black ones. <laughs> be at a hand in this somewhere. Oh, I don't mind. I was beginning to wonder whether I'd get a kitten at all. I can't call him Sooty, though. I'll just have to be Tabby. <laughs> Look at Ethel's cat. It would be perfect, wouldn't it? Let's see what yours can do, Millie. Pass me my banana ring. <laughs> Over. 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 Oh, <laughs> not much. It's really hard 
hard for them to hold on. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. How about that, Miss Cleverclogs? What are you on about, Mildred Hubble? It's in the bag. That's cheating. It's ridiculous. It's called using your initiative. Ugh. All the same, Mildred, I don't think HB's going to like it. Quite right, Maud. Perhaps you'd like to make it even easier. Handlebars and a saddle. I'm sorry, Miss Harpring. Much as you are no doubt keen to start training your kittens, Miss Drill wishes me to remind you that it is walks afternoon. Time for some healthy exercise in the fresh air. That is all. I wish she wouldn't do that. You're never quite sure if she's gone or not. Right again, Maud Moonshine. <laughs> I think Miss Cackle gave you that cat on purpose. You're as bad as each other. Give up, Ethel. It'll learn. In time. Like you have, you mean. I'm warning you, Ethel. If you don't pack it in, I'll... What? I'll turn you into a frog. You don't even know beginner spells, let alone stuff like that. How do you know? Go on, then. If you're so clever, turn me into a frog. Normally. She can't. She's hopeless, and she'll never be any different. Our work sporkus, transprogamorphus, spoticus, troticus, transfers, porcus! Oh! oh, wow! <coughs> Wrong spell, Millie. It was right next to the frog one. And you did ask for it. Oh, no! You did it now, Millie! You'd better catch her and turn her back before she gets to her room! I don't know how to! I do. You? <laughs> My Uncle Frank said to go and read something. So I did. Page 55 in the big book of spells. A simple reversing spell will fix most things. Come on then, let's catch that pig before it squeals. Out. <laughs> Charlie are, in my experience, less likely to be lost than to be in hiding. Blooming heck! Porky the pig! What is this animal doing in the school? It'll be from Ted's pig farm down the road. Well, please take it back to Ted's pig farm, Mr. Blossom. Right, Joe. I'll keep an eye open for Charlie once you're away! <laughs> oh, you girls! Where do you think you're going? At least five in a group, no going out of bounds, back by 5.30. Have you left your names with Miss Drill? Not yet, Miss. Well, do so immediately. One moment. Girls. I don't suppose you've seen any animals of any kind on your travels? Do you mean kittens, Miss Harpen? Go on. Away with you. Or I change my mind and put you all in detention. I'll go. Charlie, are you sure you know how to undo this spell? Page 55, simple reversing. Come on then, there's no time to waste. I better take you. You? Well, it was all my fault. You'll just have to ride on the back of my broomstick. Yes! If you're brave enough. We'll take you to this close back. Mildred's broom is rather wobbly. You two stay out of sight until we come back. Good luck, Mildred. You too, Charlie. I'd hold on tight if I were you. Hover. Here we go.
well, Mr. Blossom? It was one of Ted's, all right. He's got a pigsty full of them, all identical. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. All the way home. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I only wish the same could be said of your Charlie. There's no sign of him anywhere. Oh. Well, I've heard some stories. It's true. Look, I don't mind you having a little game, but you've only got a few more minutes left to play it, because when I get back to my truck, these little piggies is off to market. Hey, you know what can happen to pigs when they're sold at market? Ethel! Ethel! Which one's you? Ethel? Ethel? Do the spell on them all at once. I can't. I can only remember the simple one, the one at the time one. Do it one at a time then, but hurry up. We'll need to be quick if we want to save her bacon. I wish you hadn't said that. I'm sure no harm has come to him. It's not the harm that might come to him that worries me. There's something very suspicious going on. Yes, it seems Ethel Hallow has gone out for a walk with Mildred Hubble and her friends. Rather unlikely, don't you think? And Drusilla's hat and cloak have gone missing? Yes, but I don't see what that's got to do with anything. We need a thorough search of the whole school. I'll take the ground floor and the dungeons with Miss Hardbroom. Miss Bat and Miss Drill take the library and the girls' rooms. Frank, search the grounds. Reverse us, revolve us, return us, resolve us. Elio, alio, redux, reduccio. Nothing. What about that one? We've done it already. We haven't. We should have marked them after we magic them. He's coming. The farmer's coming. We'll have to go and find Miss Kaka and confess everything. No, wait! That one there! Her nose is more turned up than the others. And she doesn't look too pleased either. One last chance. Reverse us, revolve us, Come on. return us, resolve us. Elio, Alio, Redux, Reduccio! Uh oh! What is? Drusilla's hat and cloak have reappeared. Just like magic, eh? Maybe Charlie will do the same. Just like magic. Into the great hall. How's Ethel? I think her feathers are a bit ruffled. Oh, I'm sorry, Ethel. We can't do anything until Jaddy gets back from the library with the right spell. Oh, I get it. The great feather brain. I've got it! I've got it! Shh! Don't hear us. It was the last bit of the spell, the way Charlie pronounced it. It should be Duccio, not Duccio. How was I supposed to know? Let's say it all together, then we can't blame Charlie. Reverse us, revolve us, return us, resolve us. Ilio, alio, redux, reduccio. I'm sorry, Ethel. Now, don't be angry. You did ask for it. I said a frog, not a pig. You couldn't even get that right. And you, you're more of a fool than she is. You know where I'm going now? I'm going straight to Miss Hardbrum. Ethel, no. I'm going to tell her everything. And when I finish, it'll be the last we see of you and your mangy cat in this school ever again. Get out of my way, you stupid donkey. Oh, that's rich. Come from someone who's been a pig and a duck in the same day. At least when I cast the spell, I cast the right one. Well, I think a pig suits you perfectly. And the way you quack on, so does a duck. <laughs> well. Let's see how a donkey suits you, shall we? Alvrex, Orcus, Transfogamorphus, Floppy Lug, Donkey Bray, Transferus, Athene! Uh. What have you done? Miss Cackle's on her way and HB's with her. I'll turn you back. 
How do I turn him back? A simple reversing spell will fix most things. It might. But I don't know any reversing spells. We, we do. do. Any sign? I'm sorry, Frank. We've searched everywhere. Some children are very good at hiding. Right under your nose. I beg your pardon? That's where things usually turn up. <laughs> I didn't have anything else to do, so I thought I'd help the girls clean up. There, I told you he'd be all right. Very neat. Very tidy indeed. But I believe there are still one or two things which need to be explained, and I expect to hear the truth, because I shall certainly find out eventually. It was all my fault, Miss Hardbrum. And thank you for saving my bacon. And Charlie? He's not a bad witch after all. For a boy. That's cool. And Tabby? Tabby's a genius cat and just as good as my night star. And that's all you're getting. That's <laughs> plenty. She won't forget this, you know, Millie. Neither will I. Charlie! See you, Charlie. See you. I just got one thing to say. You're a real witch, Mildred Hubble. <laughs> Extreme. <laughs> Cheers.